One of the easiest ways to share instructional videos with students is to create a Google website rather than using a course management software like Sakai or Blackboard and embedding the video that way. As long as you've hosted your video on either YouTube, Google Drive, or Google Videos, uh, host, uh, linking the video to a Google site is extremely easy. For those who don't know how to create a Google site, you can readily find avail um, information available online. You can Google it or go to YouTube and there's some videos there. And it's a very easy thing to do. You can create a, a pretty good Google website within a matter of a few minutes without very much knowledge on how to create websites. But the reason I'm showing it to you again is as long as you've hosted your video on YouTube, Google Drive, or Google Videos, the, the process of embedding a video is, is very easy to do. It's, it's very intuitive. So let me show you how to do it. Let's say you've created your Google site and you're on the page where you want to embed the video. Make sure your cursor is wherever you'd like the video to um, show up. And once you've done that, it's a matter of going to insert video. And I'll show you two ways to insert a video. Um, the Google Docs video, so if you've stored your, your uh, video in, in your Google Drive, it's really easy to get that onto your web page. And YouTube. We won't go into Google Video because Google Video is kind of a, a relatively um, inactive and almost defunct version of, of YouTube that Google started a while ago. So first, let's try to insert a video from our Google Docs or Google Drive. First thing, of course, you have to do is make sure the video is uploaded onto your Google Drive. There's a separate video for that on the website. Once you uh, click Insert Video from Google Docs, it's very easy. It shows you all the videos that are on your Google Drive. And from there, it's just a matter of picking the one you want. And then uh, it will show it to you, so it'll pre it, so preview it for you. you just to make sure that's the right video, so you can watch a preview if you want. And you just press Select. And the good thing about uh, using the Google Drive as a host and then embedding it through Google uh, Sites is you can control the size of the video. So let's say that we want to make the video a bit larger. We can control the height and the width and you can play around with that. So once all of this is ready, you can either include a border around the video or, and include the title. Um, you might want to drop off the .mp4. You click Save and it will show up as uh, just a little box and if you want to center it you can center it if you want to um, you know justify it right you can justify it right if you want to wrap it around text you could wrap it around text I usually prefer to center it and once that's done all we do is press click save and it will show us our video and once again you can you can uh, adjust the size I, I find that they don't usually show up very large so if you go to edit that that uh, the page double click on the video box and go back to settings and let's say that we want to um, go 625 and 465 that will change the size go to save and it will show us a much larger video I like that size that might even be a bit too big so if I have the time I'll go back and play around with that but that's actually not the video that I want to embed onto this page in real life. So I'm going to delete it by clicking Remove. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, insert a video from YouTube, which is a, just a little bit harder, but not by very much. Now what it wants you to do is paste the URL of your YouTube video. So I have my YouTube account up, and I'm going to go into My Videos, which is in Video Manager. And the video, ironically enough, that I want to embed is how to host a video on YouTube. So all I need to do is click on the regular URL, paste the URL in the box, and again, it asks me if I want to include the borders or whether I want to include the title. Um, yes, I do want to include the title. I don't want to include that, though. And I will press Save and it will um, allow me to center my video if I want to do that or, or right justify it. But you'll notice one disadvantage of doing it through YouTube is that it will not allow you to control the size of the video. Whatever, the, the size that it will stream on your Google site is basically the size that it is on, on YouTube. So, well, that's okay. 
So I will actually left justify it this time. Click save. And now I can play the video. Of course, if people want to see a larger video, they can actually uh, click on the bottom right here. It's on full screen. So they don't have to watch the small version. They can actually watch it in the larger version. But as you can see, if you host your video through Google Drive or YouTube or Google Video, if you want to do it that way, it's really uh, very easy. You don't have to embed any HTML code like you would with some other site. And it's, it's just really easy to create the Google site and then actually share the video that way. So that is how to use Google Sites as a platform for your videos.